bam back pow with another video we're going to be talking about mullen ticker symbol m-u-l-n ticker symbol m-u-l-n for mullen automotive we're going to go over all new levels what i'm expecting from mullen when i'm planning to buy next we're also going to go over news a lot of big people are betting on money we're going to go over blackrock what they're doing with mullen we're going to go over uh some filers that they have we're also going to go over the top five biggest ones betting on mullen's movement of the company so smash the like button subscribe if you are new if you guys want to mull in on update tomorrow all you gotta do is get the video over 150 likes and that is it make sure you watch the videos for this one i got a video on amc i got a video on a uh, excella and cosm stock then i got a video on bbby so three big videos make sure you go and check it out and then it'll be one more video over here of a stock that's really pushing for a short squeeze so five videos in total today so just make sure you go check it out smash the like button subscribe all that good stuff i appreciate it now the only thing I wanted to read on here is that BlackRock, okay? BlackRock's latest 13F filing revealed that the asset manager management and investment company bought shares of Mullen Automotive. Now, why are they doing that? The recent developments and BlackRock's confidence in Mullen shares are both encouraging. That's the only thing I wanted to read off this is BlackRock is buying shares of Mullen. There has to be a reason. I'll take a little deeper look, but that's the first thing I wanted to go over. And then... Let's go over the five big companies that are in Betty, uh, investing big on Mullet. Okay. Now, the first one is Acucitus Capital. They have 56.94 million shares. The second one is Acusa Holdings, 55 million shares. Then they have the CEO of Bollinger Motors, about 51 million shares. Then they have BlackRock, which I just said, about 26 million shares. They actually purchased most of their shares in Q3. So they just recently purchased those about a couple months ago. And then Vanguard, 22 million shares. They reached, they recently purchased 10 more million shares during Q3 also. So if you see a pattern, most of them are pushing for Q3 because there probably is going to be some good news coming on Mullen within Q4 or Q1, okay? There's probably going to be some good news, maybe some more purchase deals, something, right? To really push Mullen up, this is why I believe Mullen can reach a dollar. Because these big companies will not be getting there if they thought Mullen was going to crash lower. So be mindful of that. That's kind of what I want to go over. The main news. Nice, quick, precise video. Don't forget to smash the like button. Now, before we go to levels, make sure you use that code 10START. You know I'm the only sponsor of the video. Make sure you join the team. That 10START gives you 10% off anything on the website your first month or your first year. And then 10% off your 25-minute one-on-one session as well. Private live streams, our buys and sells, teach you guys how to trade. Really invest in yourself. It all starts the first link. You won't regret it. This little $79 a month should be nothing to what you can learn, okay? Start thinking about that. Don't think about the dollar amount. Think about the knowledge you can get for that dollar amount. Because you're here, you're watching this video right now, which means you must, you must want to know about the stock market. So join the team. Use that code 10START. It ends Friday at midnight. Prices go up. So Mullen, where I'm looking to buy next, support levels, what I'm assuming. So Mullen's kind of stalled here, right? It really didn't do much today. Very zigzag type of day. This was the open here. Big push up, right? Nothing too crazy because it just came down just as fast. This is why you don't want to chase price. You don't want to get trapped. You don't want to be holding it back. So traded sideways all day. Literally did nothing. And it is up after hours, barely a uh, 1%. Okay, so didn't do much today. Kind of a nothing burger. Now, with that being said, we have a support at 34 cents. Let's take this 30 cent level support off. It is a support, but I rather keep the levels simple. Now, also... If price breaks this 40 cent level, 44 cent level, I've, oh, hold up. This should be 40 cents, actually. If it breaks this 40 cent level tomorrow, I'll most likely go ahead and buy Mullen shares to reach up to about 44 cents and higher. Now, with that being said, that'll probably give me about a 10% gain. I'll probably look to exit half at that 10% gain and then let the other half run if we can get some push up. But mind you, that's a 44 cent level as a resistance. So we'll probably see selling pressure, which is why I'll take profits. Played Mullen three times here, here, and here. That's why I'm not in a rush to play it again until there's clear levels, clear exits, and etc. So we have our support. And the main way I'm looking to play Mullen right now, as long as this support holds, I'm actually looking for Mullen to break the 40 cents level. That's when I'll buy. And then I'll trade it up to 44 cents, sell half. And then whatever it does after that, I'll kind of manage it throughout that. Okay, throughout the process, see if it's going to push up more. Does a heavy selling pressure come in and etc. So that's how I'm looking to play Mullen right now. But if it doesn't pass 40 cents and it kind of stalls in here, we'll just wait. But if we get selling pressure, then we need to watch that support level. If it holds, if it breaks, 
That's why I said to get the video over 150 likes, and I will update you guys on that. So that's why I'm kind of looking out for Mullen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys don't forget to join the team. First thing in the description, follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Make sure you're following the right one. I have 1,612 followers. Please make sure you're following the right one because there are fake ones going around. Do not be fooled, okay? Some of the fake ones have like three L's, two E's. It's just not good, okay? So this is my only one. Just make sure you're following the right one. Always remember, no second base in the bar. So anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one.